I think you hit a reset button for the fall campaign. Everything changes. It's almost like an Etch-A-Sketch. You can kind of shake it up and we start all over again. When Mitt Romney was CEO of Bain Capital, Bain invested in a series of companies, including call centers and manufacturers that expanded overseas, sometimes at the expense of American workers. That plant went bankrupt. The 750 workers were laid off, and Bain did make millions of dollars in profits. What he did do was add $750 million in fees, which is just another way that the government collects money like taxes. If Mick Romney's an economic heavyweight, uh, we're in trouble because uh, he was 47th out of 50 in job creation in the state of Massachusetts when he was governor. I was a severely conservative Republican governor. The natural disclosure forms reveal that he and his wife have had millions of dollars in offshore funds in the Cayman Islands and elsewhere. Romney has gone to great lengths to keep secret many important details about his wealth, including whether he uses tax loopholes available only to the super rich. The plan proposed by Romney's new running mate, Paul Ryan, to turn Medicare into a voucher-like system. It would cost Medicare patients an average of $6,400 in out-of-pocket expenses. Romney's proposal would provide large tax cuts to high-income households and increase the tax burdens on middle and or lower-income taxpayers.